Morning guys, I'm back again with another tattoo progress update. Uh, where I last left off, I had got the white highlight done in my eye and some of the other highlights in some other places. Um, I'll show off how those healed, but first I'll get on into what I got into um, just the other day. Uh, we didn't get nearly as much done as I wanted. Sometimes that's the way it goes, but uh, we shaded the black and these roses on my neck so they look a lot better they look kind of like what they did the first time we shaded them but quite a bit darker quite a bit more um punchy you can see them from farther away but obviously we haven't got the white done in them yet and we didn't uh reline the center or shade um the center rose here the rosebud so we're also going to put black around the roses to make them stand out more um, yeah, really short session, 55 minutes, I think. Uh, my artist just wasn't feeling it that day. Kind of sucks. I think two and a half, three hours, we probably could have done everything, and I was more than willing to sit for it. But sometimes that's just how it goes. I mean, when this is part of why, um, uh, I think I've enjoyed, um, my stretching journey and like piercings and stuff a little bit more in some respects than tattooing as crazy as that may seem um, because I'm not reliant on anyone else for any of it. So if, if like my artist is having a bad day or something or has to reschedule or whatever, um, I'm waiting on him where with, um, if I want to go up a size in an ear or something, any of my piercings, that's all on me. There's no one else I'm waiting for, for that. So, I mean, even if I was a tattoo artist myself, it's gonna be a little hard to shave my neck. So I think the reliance on um, the tattoo artist doing the job to get it done has is a, as much a detriment as it is a positive for me because I'm very, uh, I'm very orderly. I'm very disciplined that way. I, if I if I say I'm gonna do something, I want to do it. So I was I was pretty disappointed when. Uh, we didn't get it all done. We didn't even get close. I think we're probably halfway. I think this is probably gonna take about 10, 15 minutes to sort out. And then the, uh, the white and silver and these roses is probably only gonna take an hour to do. So I don't think we had too long to go on it. It's just a, uh, a shitty area to be working in. Um, and I can certainly appreciate that. It's not my favorite place to get tattooed either. But again, um, I'll get it sorted out here probably next month. It's gonna be a little while now because uh, after my next session, I've got probably three weeks off tattoos, which is a lot for me. Um, it's not gonna feel like a lot though because I'm gonna be super busy anyway. And who knows, uh, I may sneak in an appointment when I'm in Kelowna. <laughs> who knows, I might get something random done while I'm there, a uh, souvenir, we'll see. Um, <laughs> I wouldn't even hazard a guess what that would be. Something on my leg, maybe. Anyway, um, yeah, not super painful, but uh, over really fast. So kind of if you're only going to have like an hour long tattoo, it's a little bit like uh, by the time you've gotten into it and kind of acclimatized, then it's over. So I'm the kind of guy who the longer the session goes, the more comfortable I get. I'm generally, uh, for the first 20 minutes to an hour, I'm just feeling out the terrain and um, getting used to the feeling. Now, I'm used to the feeling anyway, but uh, your body kind of uh, syncs up with the, the needle groupings that are being used and you kind of get used to the frequency of being tattooed um, after the first little bit. So by the time you know you get going, it's pretty well done. So it's not a great feeling. Uh, but yeah, I do like them more. I don't want to say I'm not happy with them because they do look a lot better than they did. And I, I have a feeling they're going to heal almost as dark as, uh, as they are right now. Um, but obviously once they get the white in them, they'll look a lot cooler. I'll be a lot happier with them. Uh, other than that, I'll just show off how the white we did healed up. So this is the highlight right here. You can see... It's got a nice shimmer to it. The white did really, really well. Down here, you can really, really see, this is that second pass 
this time we used um, intense titanium mixed with uh, fusion white. And we got a really, really white white. I think that's probably the brightest white I've seen on anyone ever. I don't even mean like in person. I mean to see that and say it's healed. Um, and in here too. Um, I don't think I've seen white that bright. Like I'm not trying to toot my own horn, but I just don't think I've seen it. So this, for example, this was um, how it looked first. That was just one pass silver. And then, yeah, that's the white over top of it. So that's white. That is no shit white. <laughs> like people always talk like, well, you can't get white over black. Well, that's as white as it gets. And we could use, we could theoretically do as much of that as we want. Like if I wanted to make this arm white like that, uh, if I was to do a coat of silver, then a coat of that white and silver that we did, that's done. Like that's kind of proof of concept. A lot of what I'm doing is just proof of like this stuff works and uh, sharing with others. This is how I did it, right? So um, I didn't even necessarily care if it got this white. I wasn't even like thinking that. It wasn't even like, oh, well, if it doesn't get this white, I'm going to be heartbroken. No, that's the whitest I've seen anywhere. And uh, I've just told you how we did it. So I'm not gatekeeping any information. And again, I didn't even care if it got that bright. But we will be doing that with all the silver we did. So every single thing we did with silver, it's going to get that second pass and it's going to be that bright. Um, again, this is going to take a very long time, but for the patient, you can do a lot. Um, next week I've talked about, we're going to be hitting my stomach. All of these tentacles are going to be popping. So similar to like this one, you can see it's pretty well completely framed around with the black, the deep black, the Panthera. Um, every one of these tentacles has just a small amount of work left to do in between these little areas in here. And every single one of these tentacles in the front is going to pop out. See right now we've got like parts of them that are popping, parts of them that aren't because they're that same tone, even though that we've gone over them, they're still the same tone as um, the dynamic black background. The minute we get those parts done in black like this or this, um, everything's gonna separate. It's all gonna be punchy like that. So that's gonna be a really momentous session. So um, as, uh, as disappointed, as a little frustrated as I am about my roses not getting finished, because now, not only because they're not finished, but I have to sit through another one of those sessions. And to be quite honest, I don't think uh, I don't think my artist is ever going to be thrilled about black on black and white on black on a neck. Most artists don't like tattooing necks to begin with. There's a lot uh, there's a lot of work to work around. But so as disappointed as I am with that fact. Um, I'm happy to be doing something that even if it's a short session, uh, we only really need 45 minutes in that area. So it doesn't really matter if we have another short session next week or a longer session. A longer session obviously is preferable, but anything we do there is going to be um, like a bomb going off. It's going to be um, a huge, huge difference. And it's going to be kind of the missing piece of the puzzle that I've been trying to figure out for a while we talked about doing different colors and um, all kinds of things to try and separate the tentacles from the background and this is that missing element that uh, we've been building it up now for a few weeks and uh, once we get this this one in here um, it's gonna make a big difference uh, and I think it's gonna be it's gonna be all that a lot of people need to see to trust the process of this because what I've seen online is the more we've done um, uh, the more people have kind of come around to the idea and seen the possibility of it. And there's still some people that aren't there yet, but I don't need to win everyone over, but um, all I'm trying to demonstrate is possibility more than anything. And um, I've seen a lot of people doing more black on black and color on black and white on black and stuff. And uh, with the reach that I have on my Instagram, my TikTok, not so much my YouTube, um, I don't think it's too much to say that I've had an impact already. Um, I'm not giving myself all the credit, but I think the problem is though other people have done this before me, um, no one has ever been as uh, forthright about it or 
as honest or uh, broke down the process as much as me. And uh, Ben is open about it and showed it step by step and how it um, how it's done. And so I think it, there's some value in, in that, even in its own right, um, much less than the images that I'm creating for myself necessarily, um, showing people what else they might be able to do. So maybe someone wants a floral sleeve, um, but they had a bad tattoo and then they blacked it out. Now they think they're doomed. So they come across these videos and they watch these vlogs and they watch my Instagram and read what I have to say. Um, they realize that you can line out and color in new tattoos over the black, and you can even make them vibrant too. Uh, so you don't have to go for laser. You could do it this way. And I don't know what's more, I don't, I know this is probably the less painful route overall, and uh, it, it might be cheaper too. It might take less time as well. I'm not exactly sure, but I don't think it's far off. Um, and I just think, yeah, I think it's a valuable thing for people to know. Anyway, I've gone on a little too long about this. Uh, I'm going to make another video about um, how my session goes next week. And so I'll show off these roses one more time, kind of how they're developing. And obviously there's still more to do. But they're looking pretty cool. I'm not complaining too much. It's just, it's always disappointing when you get less done than you'd like to. So anyway, if you like this video, I'll talk to you guys again soon and have a great day.